Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm working on a couple of watercolor pieces and I already did the line work and everything for these ones because I really just felt like getting up close and personal with inking it. That's how I used to do it before I started recording almost every finished piece that I do now. So it was nice to get back to getting really close to the paper. That's how I like to make sure that everything is very clean. But yeah, I just wanted to do that this time and then have all the coloring in this video. I did show three pieces at first, but I actually only end up coloring two in this one. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do for the last one if I just wanted to do really light ink washes. So I decided to hold off on that one and go into the ones that I had a little bit better of an idea of what I wanted. And it was really cool because I posted these on Instagram yesterday and I got a lot of people, cause I was saying I didn't know if I wanted to color it or not. And I got a lot of people giving me suggestions or their ideas of what they thought this piece portrayed as far as color and what they thought it would tell with that. So it was really cool to see how everyone else interpreted it and also get these ideas of what they would like to see in the colors. And I love that. I had a couple suggestions for this first one where they said something really fiery. And I like that. I haven't done a ton of completely warm color palettes. I prefer cool ones. So I thought that that'd be a cool chance to it. And I like how the shape of her hair kind of looks a little bit like a flame. So it worked well in the end of the, once I'm finished painting this one, it ends up looking a little bit more on a, like a muted aged look rather than a really fiery warm color, but I'm okay with it. Cause I do actually really like how it did end up turning out. But I did want to take a quick moment to talk today a little bit about a topic actually. And I've gotten lots of comments from wanting me to talk about this specific issue or asking about how I feel about situations that might evoke this feeling in me. But a big part of being an artist is dealing with jealousy. I mean, it's one of those things that all people deal with at some point in their life, or at least almost all people. And as artists, it seems to be a lot worse when it's something that's very near and dear to our heart. We see other people succeeding or being better and it really hurts when you look at your own stuff and you feel no longer satisfied with what you're putting out there. And it can be a really, really negative feeling and I hate that. And I'm not going to have some magic here that makes that feeling of jealousy go away, but I just want to talk a little bit about my experience with it and the path that I've been taking or notice that I've been taking over the past few years. So just like anyone else, probably I had a point in my life where I would look at my favorite artists of the time. And it really almost hurt to look at how good they were and that they were my age or even younger sometimes. And they looked incredible and they were successful and they're getting all these views and likes. And I was just sitting here not feeling like I was doing good art and not getting any attention because I actually wasn't posting anywhere. And I just remember this really negative feeling. And it, there was a point where I was looking at someone's amazing artwork and I looked at mine and it was like, well, I don't want to draw anymore. I don't want to create more because it's ugly compared to this. It's not even close in caliber. So how could I possibly even want to put anything out there? And Eventually, as time went on, I warmed back up into drawing and I did more stuff and I found things that I was interested in again. But that feeling is just something that I find that the more I think about how to get over it and more about the merits of that person, the more I'm able to get past it. I find that when I'm looking at someone's work and it's like, oh, they're younger than me or look how many subscribers they have or look how many likes they have on this. I like to just take a step back and say, yeah, it's good. This is, these are the reasons why it's good rather than letting myself think, well, maybe they don't deserve it. Or why are they getting these views and not me? I think very positively about them. And sometimes it can be hard because that initial reaction is to feel negative sometimes. But I mean, for the last several years, been really pushing myself to be very positive about everything and kind of go with the flow. I mean, someone else being successful, that only means that there's an opportunity for you to be successful as well. That's the way that I like to look at it. If no one out there was getting paid the way that I wanted to, and if no one out there was getting the likes and the views and the subscribers, if that just wasn't in this artistic world, 
then that would be a lot more frustrating. But to be able to see that other people are forging ahead and they're making these successes, it means that I can reach those points where I am successful or where I reach those artistic landmarks. So I really just try to focus on they are showing that it's possible and I have a path that's my own. But it means that those little steps along the way, those can be mine too. That's been proven by them. So I'm grateful for them for achieving that and for making that possible. And I'm able to look back at myself and say, okay, this is something that I am going to achieve now. I'm moving forward towards that. And yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just, it's one of those feelings that as I've gotten older, I've noticed that I feel it less and less. It was a lot more when I was in middle school and high school when I first discovered that there was even such a thing as art communities on the internet. That's when it really, I was looking at other people's work and my own work got way better because of that. But there were also points that I would get really negative about mine. But as I get older, the more I'm able to look at people as their own individuals with their own challenges and their own positives and it's just a lot more refreshing to be able to separate my talents and my desires and the things that I want from what other people achieve. They aren't holding me back by being successful or being better than me. And I feel like that's one of the first steps. And I, like I mentioned, as, it's, as I've gotten older, I feel like that feeling has faded, this negativity. And I think that it's just kind of a natural progression of moving past being so outwardly focused on things like that and much more inwardly focused. I, over the past couple of years, I've been really focused on my own goals, my own skills. What can I do to make it better? And by focusing on that, it's really helped me to stop fixating on these other people's successes and thinking, well, they don't deserve it. They're not working as hard as me or wow, they're so good. How can they be that good? I feel like I work so hard to be good. And being able to just reel it back in and be a lot more egocentric almost about what my wants in life are has really helped me to be able to just zone out some of the negativity that can be around me and see those as just positives. And I'm just going on my path that I'm, I don't know where it's going to end, but I have these little landmarks that I'd like to reach. And another thing that I have seen sentiment from in other areas of the internet about people looking at other artists who they perceive as worse than them, quote unquote, or say they're only doing fan art and they look at all these numbers of subscribers and followers and they get this jealousy of, well, why do they deserve it? They're not as good as me. And it's good to just like pull yourself back and remember that these people, whether you agree with what art they're doing or what skill level they're at or anything like that, they're adding value to the world. They're putting things out there that people love and enjoy and are excited about. And that is valuable, whether you perceive their art is good enough or not, or whether the content for you is good enough or not. It's always good to just remember that everyone who's putting stuff out there like that, they're making the world a better place. And if I can do the same thing and I can put content out there like that, then I'm making the world a little bit better too. And anyone can do that. Anyone can add value to the world by sharing what they're creating with other people because there's always going to be someone else out there who's looking for that, that artist that's going to inspire them or that person who can draw in a way that they didn't even realize they wanted to learn how and then they see that and it sparks that interest. So just putting content out there is just such a huge benefit for the world. And in my opinion, it, it means that we're putting stuff and making things happen and making these connections with people. So that's one thing that I just like to remember to be very positive about the fact that people are being active and it's cool. And that is it for today. I Hope you guys don't mind me talking about topics like this and kind of the mental side of being an artist because that's something I've struggled a lot with over the while and I'm just starting to feel like I'm getting a little bit better at some of the things I'm trying to get better at. So if you guys have any suggestions you'd like me to talk about, I'd love to hear it down below. I always like to 
aim what I'm talking about to what things you guys are interested in, but I will have the originals from today available at my shop. So if you wanted to own a little original, I will have a link down in the description as well as in the end card. And that third one that I didn't finish painting, I would love to hear your take on how you would like to see the color palette for this one or how you would interpret it. And I think that's really interesting. I really enjoyed hearing that. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see the final version of this and when I'm done with it, I will probably put this up on my shop as well. But that is it for today. I will be back on Saturday for my next video. I post every Wednesdays and Saturdays, so I will see you guys for now. 